Hi, welcome to guns.com where we're deep inside our vault. Got more than 3,000 certified used guns looking for a forever home. One of those sad puppies is this uh, bad boy right here. This is an M40 HVA Lottie pistol. Now, some people easily confuse the Lottie with the Luger because there is a slight resemblance to it, but it's a completely different platform, completely different design. Whereas your Luger was a product of uh, Mr. Georg Luger, a Swiss Austrian individual. The Lottie is a design of Arno Lottie, who is a Finnish engineer who created an anti-tank gun, as well as this pistol and some other designs. Now his, the uh, L35, was adopted by the Finnish Army. This is a variant of that. It's the M40 that was developed for the Swedish Army specifically. In 9mm, it's an 8 shot. If you notice, it's got a very large trigger guard as opposed to a much smaller trigger guard on the Luger. That's because in Sweden, it gets very cold, Nordic country, lots of snow, lots of ice. You need to be able to fire this gun with a gloved hand. About 80,000 of these guns were produced in the 1940s. They were adopted by not only the Swedish Army, but also the military of Denmark slightly after the war. This gun was very popular with the Swedes. It was carried overseas on a lot of different UN missions, like in the Congo in the 1960s all the way up into the mid 80s when the design was finally replaced in Swedish service by the Glock 17. This particular model was made by HVA, which is Husqvarna, the uh, chainsaw and, and tractor folks. So if you have a Husky or a Husky fan, it doesn't get any more Husky than this. It's got all the proper Swedish Army martial marks, lanyard ring on the rear of the gun. It's got the SS mark. Now that's not like a German SS mark. That's for Sten Stenmo, who was the uh, Swedish uh, Army inspector that signed off on this gun as being capable of service before it was accepted. These were very interesting military collectibles that were in active duty as late as just 20 or 30 years ago. However, they all date to World War II. For this and other great military collectibles, head on over to guns.com. History is just a click away.